We fight how we train. Virgil Ortiz versus Michael McKinson. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the pre-fight warm-up of Virgil Ortiz and how he was able to incorporate the strategies he was working on on the pads with his dad into the fight with Michael McKinson uh, in beautiful fashion, by the way. So the first thing he's working on is a jab into a real quick pull as he shifts forward and then a right hand. Uh, more like a pendulum step than a shift, but boom, and then crouches down and then comes into this kind of exploding shot here. And here he's going to shoot that shot. Again, come forward with the pendulum step and shoot that right hand. This is one of Virgil Ortiz's better moves. He's usually very, very quick with it, but it's a, it's a kind of move that doesn't always have give you a lot of value um, because it's one move and then another move and then another move. But McKinson didn't counter that first jab. He didn't look to enter uh, Ortiz's line after. So this kind of right hand was, I want to say it was kind of a naked punch. Uh, he was really looking for, boom, for McKinson to try to counter him on this beat as he comes down here with his kind of pull counter like motion into this right hand. Uh, but later on in the fight, as McKinson slowed down, as well as uh, Ortiz making an adjustment and going to the body and instead of the head, he was able to get a little bit of value out of that technique. But again, very, very similar to what he was training on the pads. And now, taking a look at this move here, this was one of the things that McKinson did a lot of. And we can see here, Ortiz is practicing spinning him, not allowing him to get that motion. As you see, he controls his head here and then kind of tosses him around to keep him not only in the corner, uh, to give him the continued uh positional advantage, but to stop him from maybe coming up with the headbutt, finding a way to wrestle him and do all kinds of other stuff. And now we get to the kind of knockout sequence here. And it's really important, okay? A lot of people don't understand this, but the pad work is your first look as a fighter at another fighter, okay? Now, as we see here, he's going to be jabbing and watch his coach his dad be pulling away and showing him this position here, right? Look at all the position that he goes in. He's going to control him with the right hand, and he shows him that the left body shot is open here, right? So he's showing him the one, two, three, and he's showing him what it's going to look like. As his opponent starts pulling away from him, it's going to be opening up that space for the body shot. And now they're going to be transferring that idea here right to straight to the pads without his coach having to be as exaggerated, but he showed his coach, or he showed his fighter, <laughs> what it was he was supposed to be looking at, what this combination was supposed to do. So now they're going to do one, two, and now you see how he pulls away, slips to the back foot, and shows the body shot here? That's exactly what he's hoping that the fight is going to look like. And he's able to show him these positions. Um, Virgil Ortiz is able to see the body mechanics and how it's going to look. So he can start setting that kind of stuff up in the ring. Again, one, two to the head, and those open up the body shots. Now, real quick, this is full speed, okay? Boom, boom. And those are not hard shots, and they set up a hard shot. So it's important to pay attention to the fact that not everything you do in the ring is going to be a power shot. So here we have uh, Ortiz coming in with the one, with the two, and now he's going to be moving into the three to the body here toward the end of the fight. And you can see that McKinson is in a very similar position, <clears throat> excuse me, exposing his body to the left hook to the body from Virgil Ortiz. Then in the next scene, again, one, two, and we see him ducking down just like he was doing, trying to get away from those shots in the, that his dad was showing him and opening up the body shot, boom. And Ortiz, again, raking him to the body, hitting him with really, really hard shots. And now when we get to the KO, again, he's going to be coming forward, control, and he's going to use that lead hand to control him. And see how he uses his rear hand there to touch the rear hand of uh, McKinson? This makes it look like a right hand feint, and McKinson is expecting the right hand, so he tries to slip it, and then he finds the body shot here anyway. We're going to take a look at it here a little bit more clearly. Control on the lead hand, control on the rear hand, and then boom, an excellent, excellent body shot there. Boom, boom. And again, this same pattern is set up on the pads with the one, the two, and then the three. Uh, as we take a look at this sequence, whoops, back here, boom, boom, boom. And again, if we pay attention, one, shifts his weight to the back foot, two, shifts his weight to the front foot, and that allows him to hide the body shot. Very, very similar to what he's doing here. One, two, shifts his weight forward, and then rips that right hand back and launches himself into an excellent, excellent body shot. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, guys, I do videos like this as much as I can find pre-fight film of people's training and stuff and the fight and we fight how we we train series uh so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you guys want to check out the full entire fight film study it's on patreon uh the full fight it's 
a complete breakdown, all the tactics, everything that everyone's doing. Uh, Patreon is 10 bucks to sign up, 10 bucks a month. And if you're looking for someone to take a look at your film study, at your training videos, at the way that you shadow box, the way that you hit the heavy bag, the way that you hit the pads, the way that you fight and spar, Check out my coaching Patreon. It's 50 bucks to sign up, 50 bucks a month, uh, and I will go over all of your training video. I'll teach you the best ways to transition your weight, learn to get on the line, get off the line, set up your punches, and all from what you've already learned and accomplished doing in the sport of boxing. Only adding to it, not completely changing who you are as a fighter necessarily, but allowing you to grow and, and experience, I'll say, uh, all the fun things you can experience in the ring, okay? It's a lot more fun to slip and pull and roll and do all that kind of stuff in the ring if you, if you know how and you have the confidence in your training. Um, so if you're interested in, in learning how to fight and learning how to, to become a better fighter, uh, check out the coaching Patreon. Again, it's 50 bucks to sign up, 50 bucks a month. Um, and every time you send in videos, I will have ways to help you improve, improve your speed, your power, your technique. Um, and uh, if you're interested and you're looking for uh, a way to grow and learn boxing by yourself, you can check out the Founts Boxing Combat System. Uh, it's $2.99. The link is in the description. Um, uh, it's very, very popular right now. Um, and it'll teach you how to hit the pads and how to, how to set up your pool counters, how to get on the line, how to set up your pendulum steps, how to set up your power punches. It'll teach you theory about, about how to stay safe on either side of the line um, as well as the best ways to train them, okay? As well as uh, my patented shadow boxing styles. Uh, I have a few different pendulum shadow boxing drills in there that I'll teach you, that'll teach you how to build speed and power and momentum. And more importantly, increase your level of athleticism all while learning to do and follow the rules of boxing, okay? Uh, and all that's in the Fouts Boxing Combat System and a bonus, if you sign up for Patreon, again, 50 bucks to sign up, 50 bucks a month, I'll give you a 50% promo code for the Fouts Boxing Combat System, and I will teach you step-by-step step how to go through it um, and learn to be uh, what I would call the perfect fighter.